guys, Miss St. Nelly here, and welcome back to an episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we had a big monster invasion, but we saved the day by fixing the Blastia. And we're kicking this episode off with a character skit. Leader of a hundred guilds. How many guilds are there in this city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Are all of them in the Union? <laughs> nah, not all of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Don's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. That's why he's the Don! What are you so proud about? The Don's the amazing one, not you. I like how Carol's image just kind of shrinks for a second there. Anyway, before we head anywhere, we're going into the tavern. We're gonna pick ourselves up some ale. On the go, yay! No, not really. What we want to get is a holy bottle, dark bottle, and a limit bottle. So that's really nice. I wonder what this is, actually. The Dawn's Desk. Various types of books are piled up here. Okay, nothing interesting. Anyway, we have that, and... Panacea bottle, an orange gel, and an apple gel, which I can't carry. I'm gonna leave that there just in case I want to pick up a spare apple gel later on. But yeah, those are the secret items of the tavern. Anyway, now that we have that out of the way, we are going to pay a visit to... The HQ again, looking for Dawn. Just go right up here and here we go. Hmm, who are you all? We need to talk to the Dawn about something. Help us out, could you? It's a matter that concerns the five master guilds. I haven't seen you all around here recently. What guild do you belong to? Er, we don't belong to a guild exactly. Unfortunately, the Dawn has left in t left town in pursuit of the monsters. Of course. Can't just be convenient. Yes, he plans on taking out the monster nests in one fell swoop. I see. Thanks for the information. No worries. Guy's pretty chipper for a guard. I'm assuming he's a guard anyway. Since he's just kind of standing there. Oh well, shall we go look for information in the town? What? We're not going to help the Dawn? So you know where the monster nests are, then. Oh, good point. Yeah, Carol, way to use your brain. Since it seems like you won't be making any progress soon, I'm going to check out Cave Mock. How selfish! How dare you go off on your own and do your own assignments? And does that mean that Estelle's going along with you? Yes, I told Alexei I was going to go, after all. Don't worry, we'll be fine between the two of us. Sorry, afraid not. If you got hurt or anything, Flynn would hunt me down and kill me. No kidding. So it looks like this is turning into a whole group effort. Not that that's really any surprise. But before we find the dawn, we're gonna f go to Cave Mock. Go to Cave Mock, are they? What a coincidence. Hello, dude. Thanks for spying on us. Anyway, here we have a character skit. Why was Flynn here? Come to think of it, why was Flynn and Dawn Grest? The Empire and the Union have never gotten along, so knights don't show up here often. I doubt they're here to see the sights either. It's gotta be tied up in one of their duties. Do you think Flynn's alright? Those guild people were being really mean to him. Flynn's no delicate little flower. He can take some heat. Don't forget, before he was a knight, he had to make it on the streets of the lower quarter. I hope you're right. Yeah, I think she kind of has a wrong impression of Flynn. He has to be tough as nails to be a knight. Well, maybe not, looking at Autocore and Bacos, but still. To be a good knight, he has to have at least some guts. Anyway, heading out to the west, we're gonna go ahead and go to Cave Monk. Actually, how's my HP doing? Yeah, I don't care. That's good enough. And we just need to head through this forest, and Cave Mock is off in the distance. You see that little pyramid-like thing. Pyramid of trees, actually. Here we go, and... Enter! This place is really pretty. I love this area. Welcome to Forest of Cave Mock. I had no idea trees this big existed. 
Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful! There's somebody here! Hey! What a coincidence! What the hell are you doing in a place like this? You know, out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Ah, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course. It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. Alright, looks like the stalker caught up with us. Anyway, we have a character skip. What's the Dawn like? What about the person who controls the Union? What is Dawn Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, he's a really cool person. Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Dawn. But that's about the only thing that's clear. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words. We'll just leave it at that then. Carol's fast fangasming over the dawn aside, I'm going to stick Raven in our party. I have to say, I don't know why, but I love Raven. He is just so funny. Especially when he starts interacting with other characters. It, it can just be hilarity sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna try and avoid some monsters here. Wait, what's up here? I think there's something up here I can get. Oh, don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Come here a second. What? M me? Huh? What do you want with Carol? No! Ah! Don't just leave me here! Show him what for, kid. Why me? Okay, this isn't funny any- Should be any minute now. Ah! It exploded from the inside! What did you do? You just wait for them to let their guard down, give them a little poke, and then BAM! Jeez, I bet you're great at parties. I suppose that was good enough. Really? Yes. All right. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. What do you mean, things? Hadn't thought about that. Okay, just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. <laughs> right. Like I said, Raven is amazing. And when we have a character skit, really, really fishy. I know there's not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long's he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll, taken in the nature. Oh. I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself too. There you go. 
really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. But him being fishy is what makes him fun. Don't you know anything, Carol? Anyway, if we come over here, I believe we have another scene. Carol, what are you doing? Let's hurry up and go. Y yeah. And he is freaking out. Looks like Carol is not too fond of bugs. Carol, Carol, it's okay. It already flew away. Huh? Ha 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 ha. It did. Let's keep moving. Captain Carol seems a little different than usual, doesn't he? You think? He seems like his usual spaced out kid self to me. No, something's different about him. The Carol I knew before would have been peeing his pants or running for his life or something. If something like that happened. That is awesome. Oh, now that you mention it, I think you're right. Once you think he's actually noticing something positive... Well, actually, technically it is positive, but still. He goes and says something like that. And he's freaking out again. <laughs> Rita just sprayed him right in the face with bug spray. I was just giving you a little something to keep the keep away the giant swarms of bugs. I don't believe it. I thought I was gonna die. Who, who me? Not at all. It's okay, Carol. You don't have to pretend. Here, take this. Aspio, Aspio brand in, insect spray. The best to keep bugs away. All for the low price of nineteen ninety-five. So I'm not a person anymore, am I? Yeesh. Yep, Raven is the new punching bag. And because of this scene, Carol learned Bug Breath. It's a base art, and you know what? In the next fight, I'm going to go ahead and show it off. So Carol is going to be used. I think this is going to be the first fight that Yuri isn't even in the team at all. Anyway, we have a character skit. Scary things. Wow, Carol. When you freak out, you really freak out. Come on! Everyone has a few things they're afraid of, don't they? Not me. Now, now, genius mage. It's not nice to lie. Even old Raven's got his own fears. What are you afraid of, old man? I'm afraid of pretty girls. What? Yeah, yeah. Rita, it's better to come clean. That way we can help you out. Like anyone needs your help. I can take care of myself just fine. Her type always has some of the worst fears. Yeah, whatever. I can't really picture Rita being afraid of anything, really. Anyway, I know we've already fought oh, this man. monster before, right, but actually, go. there's a new monster in here. Awesome, so this isn't totally wasted. What we have here is a leaf bat. It is level 19, 3000 HP, resistant to wind and water, weak to fire. Not bad. Okay, um, 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 um. what am I doing? Right, arts. We want to display bug breath. Send a poisonous gas to attack enemies. Effective against bug type enemies. Yada yada yada. So we want to use this on the grasshopper since it's obviously the bug type here. So he literally takes the insect spray that Rita gave him and he just sprays it on the bug. That is amazing. It's not even a weapon really. He just spams the spray on a bug. Okay, now just chop up this bird. Okay, let's go. And we're done. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now I am done with Carol. Time to play as Yuri again. Yay! You know, can I avoid this dude? Avoid, avoid, avoid! Yes! Can we have a bastard sword and a chain whip? Go, 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 go! Yes! That was dodging skills if I've ever seen it. Now the bastard sword can go to Carol. Whereas, she is still learning critical magic, so I'm not going to mess with that at all yet. And we're going to head back a little bit and take a left. And we have a scene here. Try to be careful. These botanical abnormalities are being caused by the air here. There's a good chance that there are pockets of excess air all over the place. Yeah, too much air can have negative effects on people in Blastia. Taking in a lot of air causes your metabolism metabolism to speed up, and that'll make it more tired than usual. Wow, oh, you know more than I thought. For a creeper, he is smart. I'd expect people to know what uh, know about air's effects on a human body, 
But I didn't think it was common knowledge that Blastia can become sa super saturated with air if used improperly. Actually, I'd never heard about it until Rita mentioned it. You gotta quit slacking off and hit the books, kid. Haha, uh -huh, you got told. And Yuri probably didn't know either. Dang it! Okay, we're done with that fight, and now we are getting an S stock. Awesome, I just bought one of those, but Yuri can have it once he's done learning his skills on this weapon. And here we have an orange gel. Now, if we take a north turn here... And I didn't want to fight that. Okay, now we're at another fork. This place has a lot of twists and turns. And some of them are pretty dang well hidden, so... We're gonna have to pay attention quite a bit. But we're kinda out of time now, so we're gonna be worrying about that in the next episode. So I will see you guys later. Masainella, out.